gets hot. Okay, that's not news, but one thing it does really well is find ways to beat the heat. Today we're gonna check out flyboarding. It's one of those water sports that literally takes you to new heights. We've come to Hydro Water Sports. We're on the beach at Jumeirah Beach Hotel looking at views of the iconic Burj Al Arab. They have lots of extreme and chill water sports like jetpacking, kayaking, stand up paddleboard, donut rides, and flyboarding. Flyboarding is a relatively new sport, but it's extremely popular. And you can imagine why. It costs 600 dirhams for 30 minutes, but be sure to check out their website because they often have deals for less. Flyboarding looks really, really fun, and it is, but it's way, way harder than it looks. Like, it's actually difficult to stand and hover above water. Most people can make it to only a few seconds. So I'm curious to see how far I can go. How it works is you stand on a board connected by a long hose to a watercraft. Water is then forced into a pair of boots with jet nozzles underneath. That provides enough thrust to force a rider up to 22 meters in the air which is 72 feet. That's 72 feet in the air. It was actually freaking crazy. Or dive head first through the water as far as they're willing to go. That's insane. So, what's it feel like to fly above water? Let's go try it out. Whoa. Yo, what's up? This is Chris, the main man today. First, you lie flat in the water and the instructor straps you in. It gives you all the necessary safety info and instructions on how to maintain balance, move forward and backward, and stay flying for as long as possible. Then, he sits on a jet ski and guides you further in, and you lift off. Well, kind of. The first half is basically you falling into the ocean in awesome dramatic fashion. And you fall only because this isn't how you move naturally. It's not scary, it's not heavy, it's not difficult in that sense. Excellent. Excellent. Everything is to do with your feet and your legs. You need to use your feet to maneuver the board. But everything in your instinct tells you to move your entire body. If you're falling backwards, you move forwards to balance. Yeah, not with flyboarding. Try it, you might do better. Me, I fell flat on my face a lot. And falling isn't all that fun. This is really hard, huh? Whoa! That is neck level. And eventually I sort of started to get the hang of it. I had a whole 30 second stretch of actually flying above water. Keep it steady. How do you describe this experience? It's hard, it's very difficult. You keep thinking that your body needs to do the balancing, but not at all. It's it's all about the legs. Like when I was moving backwards, when I was falling backwards, I tried to move my body forward to balance, but all I had to do was move my feet forward and I would stay straight. And I finally got that, but only for like a couple of seconds. So it's hard. The experience is totally worth it. I mean, at least for a special occasion, it's, it's, at least a once in a lifetime experience, at least. I guess if you practice long enough, you can get as good as this guy. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fall flat on my face. If you like this video, like, comment, uh, and share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video.